Hey, this is Rob, and I'm back with the Bell Isle State Park Loop. Man, this trail is the real Death Stranding experience. Unlocking a Sam Bridges achievement. The amount of steps I've taken, let's see here, 18,744 steps. Just going back and forth. Um... The starting, port's kind of, the starting point is kind of confusing. What's not talked about in the books here, and let me show the, show you guys this, is most of the trails are kind of semi-service roads around reeds. So this is kind of what it looks like from my car perspective. That's the direction you want to go first. That leads you to White Oak Swamp Trail, which is a loop. So White, White Oak Swamp Loop, if I can read my own writing here. So you want to loop up that way and then come back and then coming back through this area here you want to head the other way uh towards uh the the white oh gosh i'm always getting words mixed up here oh sorry watch house loop so this trail is called the watch house loop uh, you want to be careful and avoid this one if you've got like little little kids with you as this trail is It's challenging, but it's not Forgiving because you're mostly hiking in mud and if you got the wrong shoes You're just getting your feet wet like I had the wrong shoes. So my feet got wet. That was a little while ago, but it's much better now um, I definitely recommend uh, knee-high rubber boots for that trail and um from the Watch House Trail, after you take care of that loop, you want to head halfway up and hang a left down the, I can't, I'm not sure I'm going to say this right, Purpose Creek Trail. Head down that way. That's where the children's play area and finish. Uh, be sure to bring lots of trail mix. Uh, pack lunches if you need to. Actually, definitely pack lunches because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long walk. And uh, lots of water. Now, the book puts you right in the middle of the park, going in both directions, but you can avoid this by parking near the Swamp Creek Trail, Swamp Creek Trail Loop, and coming down, and then coming back. Or you can head down to the Children's Play Area, walk up the Purpose Trail, down the Watch House Trail, if you, if you feel like uh, doing Mud Runner with your shoes, come back, walk up the mud trail some more which is not muddy at all it's actually very solid and go to the swamp oak tree uh swamp oak tree loop trail what was it? swamp i should remember these names i just did them oh white oak swamp loop trail loop that way and then come back that's that's the way i'd recommend doing it unless you want to park in the middle but going back and forth is a heavy walk i think um even if you park on one end or the other, you're still probably going to end up doing at least 20,000 steps. Plus, there's getting through the uh, the uh, the Watch House Trail, which is, um, with the right equipment, it's not challenging. But if you've got running shoes like me, like I have, then it's it was it was a real challenge. So, like, I was just kind of like hiking in the reeds off the side of the trail. And then the other thing you got to worry about these trails, not really worry about, you just want to be careful. There's horses coming up and down these trails, people riding horses, and there's people riding bikes. So these are like bike trails, horse trails. And occasionally you will see a park ranger along these trails driving their vehicle. They're also service road trails. Uh, other than that, this was an excellent experience. Definitely coming back and worth fishing here. Definitely very challenging. I didn't expect to run into a lot of mud, especially on a nice day like this. So with all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next uh, uh, video here where I'm going to start choosing uh, parks in Virginia that are more inland, and I'll be heading that way. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.